Today we are covering seven apps that you need to download on your Galaxy tablet today. But before we get started, hi, my name is Anna. I make tech, lifestyle, and gaming content here on YouTube as well as on my other social media platforms. I'll leave them linked down below in case you're interested. But let's just get started with today's video. A few weeks ago, I picked up the Samsung Galaxy Tab S11 and I made an unboxing video and shared it here on YouTube with you guys. And I also mentioned that I was going to be making a follow-up video saying my honest thoughts in comparison against my previous M2 iPad Pro 11 inch. I didn't think it would be a fair comparison until I actually tried out applications that I would use on my iPad so that it would be an accurate representation of how I use my tablet in my daily life. So I will be making the video comparing the two tablet, well, the iPad and the Galaxy tablet and tell you my honest opinion after using the Galaxy tablet for a few weeks. But before we start with that, I think these are applications that you definitely need to download or consider if you're a Galaxy tablet user or if you're considering purchasing a Galaxy tablet these will definitely come in handy to know. To start off, the main reason why I consider getting a tablet is because I wanted to get into digital journaling and digital planning. And if any of you are thinking the same, then here is an application that I highly recommend that you download immediately, and that is Kilo Notes. Kilo Notes allows you to download custom fonts. So if you're anything like me, that your writing is passable on paper, but atrocious on digital format, then you're going to love this feature on Kilo Notes, which lets you install custom fonts that you obtain from either the font.com or any other place that you get your fonts from. This way your writing will look great every single time that you take notes because although Samsung Notes converts your writing into text to make it legible, unfortunately it only lets you customize the font by changing the entire system's UI font through Samsung fonts that you purchase through their font store which lets you change the font of the entire tablet. But the only caveat to that or drawback is that it will change the font of all of your notes of anything that you wrote down of anything that you turned into text it will all become that font so if you're anything into digital planning or you've gotten any inspiration from Pinterest then you want to take aesthetic notes or aesthetic digital planning you want to play with different fonts on your notes and the best way to do that is with the Kilo Notes app because then you can install custom fonts and interchange them and use them and your notes will never change they will be the font that you decided on that moment to have your tablet function as a desk clock which is another function that I love to use my tablet for when I'm working from home. I love to have my tablet next to me showing me the time in an aesthetic way where I don't feel as pressured by the time constraints. I use my tablet for that and the app that I found that best does this is called the Zen Flip Clock app and it's amazing because not only is it like a desk clock in an aesthetic way but also it comes with a pomodoro timer so if you're into anything like productivity hacks then you'll know what pomodoro is and you'll love this feature because it comes included with this app and not only that but this app also has a widget which is like an icing on the cake because you can further customize your widget, you know, on your home screen. And even when the widget is on the home screen, kind of does the animation of when the time changes every minute. That's super cute and I love that. Another way that I use my Galaxy tablet or my iPad or any tablet is I like to play music on it and have it next to me again when I'm working from home. But I love to see the art of whatever music I'm playing. But I found this app that lets you level up your Spotify playlist even further, which is the MD vinyl app. It basically turns your Spotify playlist into a vinyl record and you can even move the stylus to start playing the music and the vinyl record starts moving like going in circles and it's absolutely lovely. And then you can also change the way the vinyl looks so I just think that in and of itself is such 
an aesthetic way of listening to your Spotify playlist. And this app also comes with a widget and the widget is interactive. So while it's on your home screen, it will also play the little vinyl record and will go around in circles and it will have in the middle the art of the playlist that you're playing on your Spotify. It's just a little fun way to upgrade the classic music player to something really cute and fun. For customizing your Galaxy tablet, these are my top recommendations. The first one is going to be to install the ice cream app, not ice cream, although I wish we were talking about ice cream right now, but it's called the ice cream app. It comes with hundreds, if not thousands of different widgets to customize your Samsung tablet home screen. But my absolute favorite that I love that's on there is one that it looks like you have a PS Vita on your Galaxy tablet home screen and it's a photo album. So it's like a little photo frame, but it's just so stinking cute because it looks like a PS Vita and I never had a PS Vita in white. So that's super cute. I love it to customize your tablet even further. And this is exclusive to Galaxy tablets, specifically to the S line of tablets. It's going to be the Good Luck app, which was created by Samsung to give users even more customization tools, which I absolutely love. I always use this application on my phone. So now using it on my tablet, it's even more fun. The Good Luck app, after you download it, comes with embedded with additional applications. And here are the two top ones that I think you immediately need to download. Starting off with Theme Park, which allows you to customize the icons on your tablet. Like for example, for me, I like to purchase themes from Etsy, which lets me customize not only my iPad and my iPhone, but also my Galaxy C Fold 7 and my Galaxy tablet now. And also some of them even come with options to customize your PC. So I just absolutely love doing this. And in order to customize the icons with these Etsy themes, you need the application theme park because that's what's going to give you the ability to customize those icons to different shapes and also the different images. This is just one of the features of that specific application. It has a ton of other customization options that you will be pleasantly surprised by and you'll love. Pentastic is the second application embedded in the Good Lock app that you need to download. This one allows you to customize your S Pen. So you're able to change like the pointer on the S Pen. So like for me, I changed it to the little heart, which is super cute, but you can change it to literally anything because you can download stickers from the Galaxy store and use those as your pointer or any sticker that you created from your gallery. You can also use that as your pointer. So that's super cute. You can also change how the air command menu looks. So if you preferred any of the older menus from the previous generations of One UI, you can pick from the different ones. And the one that I recently learned about is that it also allows you to change the little bubble that opens up the air command menu. Typically it looks like a pen, but you can change that to pretty much any picture that you want. Now, if you're into sketching or doodling, then you're going to love this application. This is called Infinity Painter and honestly gives me vibes of the Procreate app, which is exclusively on iPad, but it has a ton of functions and I just think it's a really good app. Now, I am not like a professional sketcher or painter, but I do think that for doodling or I, I don't even know because it has so many functions. I think maybe it could be like an intermediate or next level of drawing, but nonetheless, you need to try this out if you're into doodling, sketching or anything like that. If you'll be using your tablet as an e-reader as well, then I highly recommend that you download Moon Plus Reader. It keeps track of all your books in a super cute and aesthetic way because it looks like you have a bookshelf with all your books arranged on there, which is super cute. And my other really cool thing that this thing does is that you can, when you switch pages in between while you're reading, it looks like you're turning the page of a book because it just flips them so seamlessly and it literally looks like you're flipping the page of a book. But in addition to the kind of the aesthetics, it also lets you highlight and annotate on the books. So 
if you're reading to analyze the content that you're reading, this is highly, highly functional and recommended for you. Those are the top applications that really shape the way that I have now been enjoying the Galaxy tablet and I've actually been gravitating to picking it up more often than I do my iPad. But nonetheless, I will still be making a video comparing the two, the iPad Pro and the Galaxy tablet. And that way you guys can have a feeling of what would fit your lifestyle better. I wanted to make this video because I really enjoy Galaxy devices and my previous tablet was the Galaxy Tab S7 so it's really nice to after that using the iPad for so long coming back and using Galaxy tablet I feel like they've made so many improvements but nonetheless I'm really gonna dive deep and make a full comparison video next up so please don't forget to subscribe if you want to see that video next I'll see you on the next video bye